A must for solar observation is a proper pair of ISO rated solar glasses. Now, Celestron has a bunch of different options here, so I thought I'd take a few minutes to explain what the similarities and differences are between the different products. If you're interested in any of the products in this video, please consider clicking the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you nothing extra if you make a purchase and helps support Cosmos Safari bring the universe closer than you think. The first product here is one that uh, you might be interested in if you're trying to gather with a larger group. Um, there is a box of 50 of these paper um, solar safe glasses and these are very familiar if you did anything with the 2017 solar eclipse. Um, they are very hard to get a hold of when the eclipse is close so you want to get those as soon as possible especially once again if you're running a larger uh, club or some sort of an event. All right the next one up is the solar eclipse glasses observing kit and within here you get four solar glasses and an eclipse guidebook which will help you to figure out where the path of totality is as well as a number of different tips and tricks when you're doing your solar observation. So this is a good one for a family. If you um, have any interest in viewing the eclipse these are a must once again. All right next up is the three-piece solar eclipse observing and imaging kit. With this one, you'll get a pair of solar shades. Now, the difference here is that these are actually plastic frame shades that um, kind of look like a traditional pair of sunglasses. The major difference here, however, is the fact that they are once again solar safe rated by the ISO. So within here, you get one pair of the solar eclipse sunglasses a solar safe photo filter. So if you want to do any imaging um, with your cell phone or a small camera with lens, um, you could use this. And finally, once again, the Eclipse guidebook, which will help you to uh, determine where things are along the path of totality. And once again, give you a bunch of tips and tricks on how to do the observation. All right, next up is the eight piece solar eclipse observing and imaging kit. And within this one, you now get the four eclipse glasses, the paper ones, you get the pair of solar safe solar eclipse sunglasses, the solar safe photo filter, the eclipse guidebook. All right, finally, the last of these is the 2X power viewers. Now, this one's very intriguing to me. Um, within here, you get these two solar safe viewers. And what these are, are a 2X magnification, and they're just cardboard. Um, so they're rather inexpensive and it gives you that extra little bit of ability to see a zoomed in picture at two times your normal magnification. Um, and once again, it's a solar safe technology. And with this comes the transit map as well. Okay, now with these glasses, you'll notice that they are completely pitch black when you're looking through them. The only thing that you should be able to see is the sun. So one of the challenges here, um, especially with small kids, is making sure that they don't look at the sun itself. Um, and if you're going to be looking at the annular eclipse, you need to be wearing these the entire time. You cannot look at an annular eclipse without these glasses or other solar safe technology. Now, when you're wearing them, sometimes it's helpful also to kind of hold them back a little bit to make sure that they stay on. Um, and especially if your head is not large, uh, especially with small children and things like that, we wanna make sure that their eyes stay protected. So holding them back like this is very helpful. Um, they are, once again, these thin films with just a paper. So they're easily you know, carried with you and it's probably one of the easiest and safest ways to view. All right, next up is the Eclipse sunglasses and they come in this nice little carrying case. It says Eclipse Smart on it, solar safe technology, and it actually sends you here to the celestron.com slash Eclipse Smart website, which can give you all sorts of extra information. And these glasses are really nice. Um, just getting them out of the bag here, you know, you can see the quality um, and the difference now between these and the solar eclipse shades that I had just shown you. These um, are much more form fitting for your head and they stay on uh, your ears nicely. It's very nice for an upgrade if you still want that 1X magnification um, and you want that extra bit of comfort while you're viewing. So I highly recommend these Eclipse sunglasses. They're excellent.
All right, so next up is the Eclipse Smart Photo Filter. And with this, as you can see, it's just a filter that is going to be going over a camera. So if you wanted to kind of hold your phone up, you can cover your phone's cameras with this filter and it will keep them safe from the sun because just like your eyes, uh, the sensors that are on your camera are sensitive to sunlight and if you're aiming directly at the sun over time, they can be damaged. So having this over here will provide you the ability to watch the eclipse and to cut down the light to the point where you can actually see um, the eclipse through uh, your smartphone or other camera. All right, so here is the Eclipse Smart Complete Solar Eclipse Observing Guide. It's 49 pages of content here, all about uh, the different parts of the eclipse. Um, it gives you the dates here for October 14th, 2023. That's the annular eclipse of our sun, um, for which, once again, you need to watch the entire thing through solar safe technology. Um, and then there's also the total solar eclipse on April 8th of 2024. And with that one, it's a totality event where we will have the entire surface of the sun covered by the moon. And so you'll need solar safe technology all the way up to totality, at which point you're going to be able to view that eclipse with just your eyes. But as soon as that totality is over, you're going to once again need that solar safe technology that we've got um, with this Eclipse Smart technology. So we've got those two um, different dates in here. They tell you how eclipses work. We've got a nice path of totality map in there. We've got just an endless amount of awesome information, fun facts for the family. So if you're going to have uh, you know, kids um, along with you or just you're interested in learning more about the eclipse, I highly recommend getting one of the kits that includes this eclipse uh, guide because I think it's just gonna help you to appreciate more the event that you're observing. Finally, these are the 2X Bino viewers. Um, I expected these to be something that I was going to have to put together, but they actually were already in place. They kind of fold down. And as soon as I opened up the box, the container, I was able to figure it out. They just kind of fold open and they're ready to go. So that's pretty neat. Within here, we've got these two uh, lenses in the back that allow you to look through at a 2X power. And on the front here, we've got the solar safe technology that allows you to look at the sun. And so you just hold them up just like a pair of binoculars would be. It has this little hood on here, which is helpful to kind of just keep stray light from getting um, around you. And you can kind of hold it up without you know, risking looking at the sun. So this is a very nice um, thing to have. If you want just that extra little bit of magnification you don't get with the regular solar glasses or sunglasses.